Hello and welcome to something a little bit different because in this video we're going to shine a light I guess on one of the lesser spoken about parts of car ownership and that is of course repairs, specifically accident repairs. So that's why we're here at Hilton Coachworks. We at Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire partner with them for accident repairs and it's a manufacturer approved body shop which means that only genuine parts and processes get used to return your car to pre-accident condition. We'll also show you what to do as a customer of Mercedes-Benz Hertfordshire for getting in touch with our accident management helpline. So, I guess without any further ado, let's jump in and take you behind the scenes and show you what really happens when you send your car away for repair. Whether it's a brand new car or an approved used purchase, as a customer of ours, you will gain access to our accident management service. It's open 24 hours a day, every single day of the year. And should you need to, the number to call is always displayed on a sticker in the windscreen, just in front of the driver in every car that we sell. And you can also find this number on our website. Regardless of if it's a fault or a non-fault incident, give them a call. Remember, it is your choice who repairs your car, not the choice of your insurer. Someone from the accident management team will then get in touch with your insurance company, obtain a claim reference number and then take over the management of your car, ensuring that all aspects of the claim are completed and that your car is returned to you in pre-accident condition. So what happens after your car gets collected? Let's head over to Hilton Coachworks and find out. My name's Matt Bloom, I'm part of the estimating team here at Hilton Coachworks. Uh, today we've done an appraisal or an estimate on this C-Class Coupe here. Estimates can be carried out here at our headquarters in Bishop Stortford or indeed at any of the uh, Mercedes-Benz of Hertfordshire sites that we cover. This vehicle will be estimated today and sent off to the insurance company for authorisation. Once authorised, we can order the parts through our dedicated uh, dealerships. All the parts will be genuine um, and the vehicle will then make it into the workshop to be stripped down and checked for any other additional parts. Once the initial estimate has been completed, then the car will be processed. Now, this is a little bit more of a internal procedure for the team here at Hilton Coachworks, but it's basically another in-depth look at the car, assessing its condition, assessing the damage, and seeing if there was anything that was missed out on the initial estimate. Lots of photographs will be taken as well, again, for the team's records, but also as a bit of a measurement of the state that the car arrived in. Once the car has been processed, the initial estimate will be rechecked, and when everything is cleared, then the car will be assigned to the workshop for work to begin. The first stop for the car is in this department for stripping and fitting, so this is where the damaged bodywork will be removed. A lot more needs to happen than just pulling off the rear bumper and hoping for the best. There are lots of components that will need to be taken out as well. Things like the rear light clusters as well as cabling and occasionally some vents will need to be removed too. Once everything has been unscrewed, unbolted and unclipped, it is time for the bumper itself to come off. If the damaged piece of bodywork cannot be repaired, then it will be taken away and disposed of. In this car's case, a new bumper will be fitted. Once the bodywork has been taken off, the technician will have a look and see if there is any more damage to the car that we couldn't see from the outside. If there is, then the team here will get in touch with the engineer from the insurance company, or if you are paying for the work yourself, they will get in contact with you directly. Hello, my name is Sean. I'm the Mercedes-Benz accredited panel technician here at Hilton Coachworks. Here on the panel shop floor, we can do anything from cosmetic repairs, i.e. small bumper repairs, scratches, car park dents, to big structural repairs where the cars will maybe go on the jig, be measured, cut the panels off, weld new panels on, all to the manufacturer specifications. So we're going to follow this A-Class through the process of getting repaired. There's a bit of damage on the rear and on the door as well, which has already been replaced. And well, we'll show you what happens to get this panel removed, a new one put in and blended together. Cars aren't just made from one single piece of aluminium. They are lots of sheets pressed into shape and joined together. Stage one for this part of the repair is to remove some of the original joins and welds. 
This is done with a mixture of grinding, sanding and drilling. The preliminary cuts can then be made on either side of the affected area. A chisel is used to separate the spot welds. Other parts of the car may have been joined together using adhesive. On areas like this, a heat gun is used in order to warm up the adhesive and make it easier for the panel to be pulled off the chassis. Although in some cases, a little bit of external assistance is required. Residual adhesive is then removed in preparation for knocking the panel back into shape, quite literally. A hammer and dolly are used in order to get the panel back to the shape it should be. This also makes it possible for the new panel to be joined to the car. The welds are ground down so that they're both flat and that the area around them is back to bare metal. This is a must in preparation for welding. The affected areas are then cleaned. And then it's time to take some measurements so that the new panel can be cut down to size. The cut down panel is placed onto the car for the first time. You'll notice that there's an overlap with the existing parts of the car. This is deliberate and it will be cut down to size later on. The new door is also attached to the car for the first time. The old door has already been disposed of and the new one is put on its hinges and adjusted before its final position is set. Things like the character line on this generation of A-Class, which runs from the headlights to the tail lights, has to match up across all panels in the way that it did when it came from the factory. The final cuts are made. Holes for the rivets, which will be added later, are drilled in. Parts that are going to be welded are ground back to bare metal on both the chassis and on the new piece of bodywork that will be attached to the car. Some parts are also covered in a Mercedes-Benz approved zinc coating. This acts as an anti-corrosion agent. For the areas which are going to be bonded together rather than welded, a Mercedes-Benz approved adhesive is applied. Another Mercedes-Benz approved adhesive is used for the area around the wheel arch. Once everything has been applied, it's time for the new panel to be put into place again. The fitment is checked and adjusted if required before being locked in prior to welding. With the old panel removed and the new one cut down to size, it is time to make it part of the car. Now this is done with welding and two different types of welding as well. So this one is a MIG welder, metal inert gas. So there is a brass strip that comes out of the gun, which is cooled by argon gas, that is the uh, inert gas. And when the brass touches the two bits of metal, it's that arc which fuses them together. The second piece of equipment is this. This is a spot welder. It's very heavy and it uses a electric current to weld the metal together. The resistance caused by the electricity passing between the two electrodes is what fuses the metal together. And that's also helped by the zinc coating that was applied before the panel was put into place. Let's see how it works. 
The cabin is covered to prevent any sparks that fly off during welding from damaging the interior. The car is also earthed. Welding may then commence, initially using the MIG welder to join the panel at the top and bottom of the affected area. It is absolutely fascinating to watch up close, believe me. It's then time to use the spot welder. You can see the marks on the seams where the technician has determined the spot welds should go. And yes, there are some big sparks that fly off these too. After welding, the seams are ground down so that the join itself is smooth. And that's it. From this to this. And the car is ready to move on to the next stage in paint. So, of course, one of the things that may need to happen as part of your repair is having the car repainted and resprayed. If that's the case, then it will, of course, be repainted in the manufacturer's specific colour. If your car is obsidian black, which is a colour that's been around for longer than I've been alive, I'm fairly sure, then the technician will enter in the paint code onto their machine and it will basically give them a recipe for how to make that colour. And there are actually slight variations depending on what model of car you have, when it was built, what part of the year it was built, what factory, in which part of the world it was, so that they can make the exact right colour for your car. There's also quite a fascinating blend of other colours that go into black paint. There's uh, even a bit of red and of course the uh, metal flakes that fall in as well. Now I did ask, it is paramount, especially with metallic paints, that once the colour has been mixed and stirred, that it gets sprayed pretty much straight away so that all of the metal flakes don't fall to the bottom of the canister. Now, let's go and have a look at something being resprayed. Start off with 240 in on your DA sander, all the, all the panel, and then once you've done that, use your red scotch to get all the bits that you can't get with your DA, such as in here, all your edges, etc. And then once you've done that, do all your masking ready for primer. The final part of preparation is to wrap the car in a protective sheet. This ensures that only the parts of the car that are meant to be repainted do get repainted. The repair for this C63 has been completed on the bonnet, but the front bumper is all new. Every part of the car that is going to be repainted will be cleaned and any dust and residual static removed painting can then begin. The first layer is the base or the colour. Selenite grey metallic is what is being applied here. You can see the difference already that a fresh coat of paint makes. Look carefully at the bonnet and you can see how the paint dries. There are a few 20 minute drying stages as part of the respray. The technician then comes back into the booth and applies additional paint to any areas that need it. Another 20 minutes pass and the surfaces are wiped down once again to remove any dust and static before the first layer of lacquer is applied. And again, Look at the bonnet, you can see how it turns from a matte finish into a glossy, shiny surface. A second layer of lacquer is then applied after another drying stage. Our car has gone from looking like this to looking like this. Once everything has dried, it's time to unwrap the car and take it out of the booth in order for the paint and panels to be blended together. Bring it back into your bay and then use a 320 on your block with your extraction plugged in to block down the whole panel, making sure to really get, get these places proper. And then once you do that, you'd wet up these areas have a look at them, have a look down the panel at them to make sure they're all smooth, flat, and they don't have any high or low spots on them. You'd finish off your 500 on DA, 
you de the whole panel down to get rid of any deep scratches left from a 320 on the block. Once the car is finished with paint and the panels have been blended together, it moves into its final preparation stage, polishing. There are two types of polishers that are used, the first one being the abrasive polisher. This is a key part of the repair for the car, making sure that the panel looks as good as new. The affected area is then prepared for the second part of polishing. And this time something called a waffle pad is used and no, I'm not making that up. It's because the pad is a lot softer than the one used on the abrasive pad. This also helps to remove any residual scratches on the surface and really bring out the paintwork on it. And that's it. Paint and polishing done, it's time for quality control. Hi, I'm Robert and today I'm working in the quality control where we check over cars for imperfection, um, edges, overspray, any light scratches from other areas that we haven't attend to. Just make sure that the car's clean and gleaming, ready for the customer to pick it up. So for edges, for instance, we use 1500, which is quite coarse to get rid of the lacquer edge. Then we go over it with 3000 just to help us shine it back up again. For imperfection wise, we look if there's any speck of dirt that's in the paint that needs to go down, get rid of. We do the same process like we do to get rid of the edges. And if we spot anything that's not been done properly, like scratches or there's still a bit of a dent, then it goes straight back in through the whole process again before it gets its final QC and then the customer come pick it up. The final stage and perhaps the most important one is to collect your car. Now this can take place either here at Hilton Coachworks HQ in Bishop Stortford or at any of our dealership sites. One of the team members will give you a ring and arrange a time for you to come down and collect your car. And they'll also show you the repairs that have taken place. Once you're happy with the condition of your car, you'll be asked to sign a collection note. Thank you. And that's it. The key and the car is yours. Job done. So there we go, from accident damaged to accident repaired. I found it absolutely fascinating seeing all of the different stages, the processes, the tools, the methods, and all of the attention to detail that goes into returning a car to pre-accident condition. Now just remember, it is your choice who repairs your car, not the choice of your insurer. And if you are one of our customers, then make sure to get in touch with the accident management helpline should you need it. All of the details that you need are in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. I think the bit that I found most fascinating personally is all in the paint shop, seeing all of the different variations of what we think is the same paint. You know, the obsidian black metallic finish on my car is vastly different in composition, actually, to the obsidian black metallic paint on, say, an E-Class from 2016. That level of attention to detail, that is what has really stuck with me. I hope you have enjoyed the video, something a little bit different from us, and I hope that we have shed a light on that lesser spoken about part of car ownership. If you have enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. If you want to see more videos from us, then check out the rest of the videos on our channel. Make sure to subscribe to us as well so that you don't miss a thing. Thank you very much for watching this video and a huge thanks, of course, go to the team at Hilton Coachworks for letting me float around all of their departments and grab all of the footage. If you want to find out about the cars that we spend some time with, then make sure to check out the videos that are on screen now.